Hi everybody, this is Serbia. Back again, another day with another unboxing. And it feels like it's been a long time ago since I did a sneaker unboxing. And as usual, I've been waiting a long time for this pair of shoes. And as usual, I have a backstory about buying these shoes. Uh, this is the Air Jordan 13, Chinese New Year. They were released in US uh, to, um, sorry, January 23, uh, 23rd. And um, nice to see a pink box. The Chinese New Year's uh, Jordans usually have a box matching the shoes. Last time, uh, last year, I got a golden box, I think. And uh, yeah, so nice pink box. Uh, the paper that are the Chinese coins. And here we have the very beautiful shoes. So quickly about the backstory. Um, I like these shoes from the very first picture. Suede Air Jordan 13, off-white, beige, pink, with a team, super cool. But we didn't have a release date in Europe until they were dropped as a quick strike the same day. I don't remember when, but late, late January. And in Asia, I think the release date were like January 16 or something. And I asked in our group, Solo Crew, if anybody had any more info about them. And then a fellow sneakerhead here in Sweden that has the best Nike Jordan plug ever, uh, he said that there's no problem for him to get them for me. Excellent. He got the shoes, and after he received them, they were dropped in Europe as a quick strike. And I think they're sold. I think they sold out, but. In the rest of the world, they are on sale at the moment. The resale price on these on StockX is like $150 or something. But I'm just super grateful that I got them. Then, uh, it, it took some time for me to get them here to, to Malmö from Stockholm. But I'm just super grateful. So thanks to the guy that is the creator of Arc Swimwear. I'm going to put a link in the description and in my blog post. Uh, so this is my first pair of shoes that I got via a plug. Super cool. So about the shoes, let's get to them. I don't know if the colors uh, mean something. I think I've seen old pots uh, with that sort of color scheme. But as we see here, people think that this and this are supposed to look like uh, fireworks, but it's not. It's a Chinese coin. I'm actually gonna get one so I can show you, or I can even show you from another pair. Uh, this is the big version of the Chinese coin. I'm gonna get a coin, be right back. So yeah, this is the Chinese coin that you usually get in a red envelope on Chinese New Year. Um, we here we have the square in the middle circle so that's where the inspiration comes from uh, maybe also fireworks but the chinese coin is the most symbolic thing over chinese new year you have the red envelope envelope with money usually with the chinese coins and i really like i like everything about this i like uh, chinese new year teams uh, once upon a time, I tried to buy every Chinese New Year team shoes, both from uh, Nike, Jordan, and Adidas. But there were a couple of years where there were some really boring shoes. Uh, this year is year of the rat. We could have guessed it's the year of the bat, but it's the year of the rat. But I don't see any rat colors on this one. Uh, I think the colors come from the Chinese pots, and um, I just think this is amazing. Suede, and the 3D graphic, and I'll show you close up, 
this is just I haven't seen this on I don't think ever on, on a Air Jordan shoe um, maybe the laser ones but not like this and the colors matches perfectly just a very beautiful shoe very underrated shoe and um, that's why I think it's too bad that they are I don't think it's bad but I'm surprised that they go for half the resale the US price on these were $200 which is $10 more than usual. But here in Europe, I think there were 2,800 kronos, which translated to almost $300. So $100 more than usual, and I have no idea why. So the insoles are different. The Jordan Jumpman is a coin as well, uh, half black, half white. And the insoles, if I can get them out, yes. One of them is the coins. Ah, here we have feet of the rat. I'm going to show you this close up. I really love shoes with themes and where the thought of details. Uh, there's already one thing that I think they could have done better. Can I get this one as well? Yes. And the other one is just pink. Uh, what I would like to see is the reflective Jumpman. Uh, the 3D Jumpman could have been a Chinese coin. That would be super cool. But of course on Air Jordan 13 we have the cat eye with the, with the 23 Jumpman. So here on the insole we have... What I think is red feet, it must be red feet. And the Chinese coins are same as the paper and as same as this 3D texture. This is so super cool. Man, the details on these, very, very beautiful. And uh, just soft suede enough, it's not that long hair soft suede that get damaged so easily but uh, very beautiful shoe i really gonna like these so once again thanks to christopher the creator of arc swimwear and uh, yeah thanks to jordan for making a super cool shoe i'm pretty sure that they're gonna be true to size but of course i'm gonna put them on feet uh, so you can see them on foot. I really like them. The, the pink is just so super cool. It could be a bit brighter, like, like the box. Uh, I think the pink is sort of pale on this one. But uh, I, I, d I really don't want to complain about these shoes. Uh, I think it's a full 10 points. I don't understand why, why people don't like them. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, hit that bell button, comment. Do you like the shoes? Did you buy the shoes? Uh, and if you don't like them, why don't you like them? Are they too much for the general Jordan wearer? Thanks. First of all, I hate to take out glued insoles because they are a pain in the, to get back. The shoes, I don't know if I'm gonna say that they are true to size because every shoe that I bought the last six months are a bit long. So either my feet have shrunken or these are also a bit long as all the Air Jordans from the last six months. But comfortable shoe, the Air Jordan 13 is a favorite of mine just because they are so comfortable. And uh, before I didn't like the Panther um, uh, sole, but uh, it's a very comfortable shoe. A warm shoe, we don't have so much, too much ventilation, uh, very little ventilation, only the tongue. But a cool looking shoe and a comfortable, one of the most comfortable Air Jordans. Uh, and these are just, I love the look of these. I love the color, the color combination. I love the pink, I love the team, the Chinese New Year, uh, the 3D uh, texture. Yeah, I really like these. 
that's it. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious about what you think about the shoes. And um, if you like them, if you bought them, why didn't you buy them? Why did you buy them? That's it. Thanks for watching. Just a small update. Uh, right now in the middle of the night, I just realized one thing. Uh, the colors actually might just come from a rat anyway. We have the beige upper, the brown tail, and the pink feet. So I think there is a rat team in the shoes anyway. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, I think. So light pink feet, brown tail, and uh, natural beige off-white uh, upper. What do you think? Am I onto something?